and probably didn't live too long. Short lifespan, no knowledge how to take care of himself. Uh, so I'm going to go through this uh, prepared list, which was made for Billy, which explains the different levels of development. It explains all seven levels, seven steps of development of the human life, and breaks it down a little bit in uh, seven different steps. So there are seven levels to, levels to the development of the human life form. Five of those levels are in physical form. Two of those levels are in non-physical forms. And then we return and become part of creation. So I'm going to explain the different seven levels. By the way, each one of these seven levels is broken down into seven sub-levels, and then seven below that, seven below that. So it's seven across and then seven sub-levels down. But we won't have time and we won't break it down that far here. I'm just going to talk about the main uh, seven breakdowns or levels of the development of human life. In the first level, it's called primary life. Obviously so, because it's the very beginnings. So your first material life uh, would be called the primary development of the intellect and the spirit. So that's the first thing that has to happen. There is no development at that point in your first lifetime. You have no knowledge uh, from any previous lifetimes. It's the first one. So it's the primary development or the very beginning of development of your intellect, using your brain, using your logical patterns. I suppose at this point the first person is just trying to figure out how to um, walk, uh, to get around, to find food, uh, maybe some sort of shelters, whatever. So the process is that we go through a material life. While we were going through the material life, we gather information and experiences with our senses, sight, feel, touch, smell, and so forth. We make logical decisions. When we make logical decisions, they become part of our life. When we decide on something and that becomes part of us, we gain wisdom from that. And that information, that cognition, that understanding of a basic thing that becomes part of us, then that wisdom from that goes into our spirit. Not, the, uh, not every logical conclusion that you come to goes into your spirit. Because the spirit itself, remember, it is a, a bit piece, a part piece of creation. It is connected to creation, whether you're aware of it or not. And it has the ability to, um, you might say, check out your conclusions and compare it against the logic of creation to see if it's correct. If it's incorrect, if it's illogical, if it's harmful to the spirit, it does not accept it. It actually refuses it. On the, after we go through these seven levels of human development, uh, and later on in the tape, I'm going to go over the actual mechanics in the mind and in the spirit how it retains thoughts and how that works, and we'll discuss that a little bit more. But right now, let me go through these seven different steps of development of the human life and explain what these steps are. The second step uh, would be the primary thinking of intellect and spirit. So to begin with, first of all, in your first stages, you have to learn how to think basically at all, to use your brain into the very basic functions. Uh, that may take several lifetimes. You might not live very long. Uh, this stage, is, <laughs> you don't have enough uh, intelligence probably to even uh, protect yourself very well. So your first few lifetimes are probably rather brief. As a matter of fact, the first hundred or so may be very brief. And before you start being able to rationally think things out, the third level, uh, the third uh, section of primary life is the primary thinking of reason or reason. Okay, first we're developing some intelligence, uh, then we're going to like start thinking, and now we're reasoning things out, we're figuring things out, like, okay, I better not get too close to that large animal because he will kill me. Okay. Fourth step under primary life is the primary exercise of intellect and spiritual force. Okay. Uh, the fifth step is primary reasonable actions. So here you're figuring out, you're, be, you're, you're developing reasoning. Now, it may have taken a couple thousand lifetimes to even get to this point where you're actually beginning to use reasoning and thinking and so forth to understand how to take care of your life. Each one of these lifetimes you go through, we contribute very little in the form of spiritual growth. Spiritual growth is the actual wisdom retained by the spirit as a result of experiences in the material life. You'll go completely through a material life. It's possible to go clear through it and practically learn nothing. Many people live kind of in spiritual stagnation, completely unaware of uh, their spirit at all, and leading the kind of life that contributes nothing. 
so it may take them hundreds of lifetimes to progress hardly anything at all. The idea behind this list is that all of these levels, types of things, must be gone through. That the human being can't skip anything. Uh, each human being who goes through his own cycles of life, we may start off the same with, uh, you know, it's kind of like a hard drive on a computer with nothing on it, then we start adding software. Well, our spirit is much like that. As we go through each lifetime, it gathers a little bit of wisdom, but everybody lives their lifetime differently. So we're all out gathering wisdom, experiencing things, and contributing wisdom to our spirit about different information at different times. So each person coming into life has different objectives, has different things, different paths that he is on of learning. So even though we start off the same, within a very few short lifetimes, we're all working on different things, but we don't get to bypass anything. The idea is that there are X amount of things that have to be learned about life and contribute, and we're all going to go through them at one time or another, just not at the same time. Okay, the seven breakdowns of primary life then. One was primary development of the intellect. Two was primary thinking of the intellect. Three is primary thinking and reasoning. Four is the primary exercise of intellectual and spiritual force. Five was the primary reasonable actions. Six is the primary will uh, caused, it says, will cause thinking. So we have an individual here now is starting to use his own will. Seventh is the reason conditioned leading of the life. We have an individual here now who's um, uh, uh, least able to control himself and take care of his life. He can think, he can reason, and he can take care of himself. So this is still a very underdeveloped person. Creatures at this level of development are you know, usually thought of as being insane or idiots. Uh, their spirits and intellects are really just you know, not very developed at all, uh, which they have to learn an awful lot to get going. And again, we only add very little to each lifetime as far as spiritual growth as we go through. So just to get through the primary life may take several million years. The second step of development in the human life is called the reasoned life, and that's broken down into seven levels also. Each one of those seven is also broken into seven, which we won't go into. But reasoned life is the second level of development of human life. And this refers to those cycles of life, those lifetimes you're going to lead, where your reasoning really figures in the development or evolution of your spiritual self. The first level in reason life is called primary development of reason. This is the very beginning of scratching our head and going, hmm, how about that? To figure these things out. Let's think things through, okay? The second level is the effective realization of reason and her use. Well, we're getting results. We're going through a lifetime now, we're trying to figure things out, and we're starting to recognize a little bit the cause and effect of things that, gee, what about this, or if that, and if I think this way, this happens. So we have an individual here reasoning, trying to figure out how to cope with his life by virtue of reasoning. The third level of reasoned life is the primary acknowledgement and cognition of higher influences. So at this level, it's probably the first time our guy here is coming to the realization that, hmm, there may be a more intelligent, higher life forms out there somewhere. There could actually be something more intelligent out there. Maybe something really did create life. Okay? The fourth level is the belief of higher influences without owning any knowledge about it. Now, this would be at the development stages where people are developing belief, uh, belief concepts. They're believing maybe in a sun god or a rain god or a river god or whatever. Uh, a god, a leader, they start looking for answers to themselves. They're starting to try to define the meaning of life. We're creating belief concepts. But they really don't know what they're talking about is the general idea because they don't have the knowledge, the wherewithal, or the spiritual growth to look within to really learn. See, the interesting part is that... It